there! This is Kareen from Captain America Projects. Today I have a fun project that I'm doing and it is converting something ugly into something pretty. So this isn't necessarily an ugly picture, but it might be classified as a hotel room painting. So if you see a painting in a secondhand store and you think I would almost buy it, go ahead and buy it because there's a way that you can spruce up the picture, make it bright and a little bit extraordinary so that when people come over they'll think that this is quite the painting that you have purchased. So first off what I'm going to do is remove the painting from the frame. I will probably repaint the frame as well. It's pretty easy removal. Just take off these clips and pop the painting out. So the supplies that I'm going to use are these watercolor pencils, a cup of water, a paper towel, and a pencil sharpener. And that is all. Uh, first off, I'm gonna work on the sky. The sky is pretty good. You can't really see the clouds. They don't pop out much. It's uh, a little dull. So you wanna brighten up this whole painting. So starting with the sky. So I'm not gonna go over the clouds. I'm just taking a turquoise pencil and I'm just gonna kinda outline the clouds that I see. They're kinda wispy. And then I'll fill in in between the wispy clouds that I see. The thing about watercolor pencils is if you make a mistake, guess what? You can just wipe it up with water. I've brightened it up a tad and it already is starting to look a little bit more interesting. So I'm just going to go over this with water and spread it out. Now dab on a slight amount of water and just kind of spread it. They'll end up being more demarcated lines. All right, so I filled in all the blue with the watercolor pencil and I smoothed it out using the water. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a light blue pencil and make the blue even more vibrant. So I'll do the same method. I'll just go around the clouds. Maybe this time I'll start defining the clouds a little bit more and just kind of loosely, very loosely fill in like kind of like you're doing a sketch. Next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to get a vibrant green. It, it would help to get more than one color of vibrant green. Oh, so here's a, a darker color, but yet more vibrant than this kind of yellowy brownish green and also a grass green, which will really pop out. So I'm going to go over these different areas with greens and yellow to really spice up the greenery. So anywhere I see this dark mucky green, I'm going to spice it up with these guys. So I went over all the dull parts and added my nice vibrant green. I don't think that I'm going to use water on this. It kind of works. The It looks more like a pastel painting with the pencil What texture. I notice is that even though these puppies are bright, they can do with a little more pop. So I'm going to add some yellow to those and some oranges. And to pull the painting together, you got to kind of combine the colors everywhere. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some oranges in the sky and I'm going to put some blue on the ground. And 
finally, I'll go over it with a yellow. It's lemon cadmium. So, I've ended up with some orange in the sky, which ties the picture together. Now, this brown is much too realistic and not bright enough for the rest of the painting. So what I'm going to do to brighten it up is to add a little bit of dark blue purpley colors and then I will splatter it around the painting to maybe add highlights to the cacti to bring it all together. You can see that I've added the blue, the ultramarine blue to the shadows of the mountains. I put it in the foreground and also added a few stripes up in the sky. Uh, one thing that I like to do as a finishing touch is to give it a really unrealistic color. So the people are reminded that this isn't supposed to look like nature does, it's supposed to look a little bit hyper nature. So what I like to add is this bright pink. It's called magenta. And I'll just add uh, accents, maybe outline the mountains a bit, outline the cacti, uh, call attention to the clouds by outlining there you are. them. There's the finished edited painting. So this project is so much fun because you can do something artistic without having to do any of the hard work because the original artist has already figured out the composition, figured out the underlying blocking colors. They have figured out everything for you. All you have to do is have fun emphasizing the great parts of the painting. So thank you for watching.